This is a quick guide for the Arkeen Aqueducts achievement in World of Warcraft, which involves killing the first three bosses in the new Nighthold raid. Please note that all of the points in this guide are from a ranged DPS perspective. The first boss you need to kill for this achievement is Scorperon, who's a rather large scorpion near the start of the instance. If you're heroic or mythic raid geared, you'll find this pretty easy on normal. There are three things you need to pay attention to on this fight. The first is a move called Focused Blast. This is an AoE ability he casts in front of himself, so just move away from his front and you'll be fine. The second is Ad Management. Like most raid fights, dealing with adds is more important than tunneling the boss. Scorperon will cast Call of the Scorpid, which will release a load of smaller crystalline Scorpid adds on the raid. Apparently once I've done a lap around the room they'll attack one by one, but as you can see here, we just had our tank pick them up from the spawn point so we could AoE them all down. The last thing you'll need to deal with is a move called Shockwave. If you're running the DBM add-on, you'll get an alert to move behind a crystallized fragment. All you need to do is stand behind one of these until the move is over and continue on with the fight. It is also important to note that Scorperon takes reduced damage due to a buff called Chitinous Exoskeleton. Every time you deal 1% damage, a stack of the buff will be removed. Once the buff has been removed completely, you'll get a new debuff called Exoskeletal Vulnerability. This is when you want to pop heroism in all cooldowns to maximise your damage. The second boss you need to kill for this achievement is Chronomatic Anomaly. Like the previous boss, you should find this pretty easy if your group has an average item level of 870 or higher. Firstly, the easiest and most obvious ability he casts is Burst of Time. This produces orange swirls under certain players, which simply need to be moved out of to avoid damage. Again, ad management is important on this fight. You need to DPS the adds down as quickly as possible, interrupting the Warp Nightwell ability at every opportunity. It's vital to note that the adds split into four smaller mobs when they die as well. They have the same abilities, just with less health. Temporal orbs are two rows of blue swirls that spawn from the middle of the room. The best place to stand is on the outer edge of the circle on the floor, as the gap between these orbs gets bigger and makes it easier to dodge. Don't go too far out though, as the second line eventually catches up with the first and closes all gaps. The boss will also put a debuff on random players called Time Bomb periodically. All you need to do if you get this on you is to move away from other players as an AoE move will pulse out of you once the debuff expires. Another important point is that the passage of time here changes periodically, going from normal attack and movement speed to slow to fast and back to normal. You should pop heroism on pull as the fast phase is just like getting a second heroism. The third and final boss you'll need to kill for this achievement is Triliax. This is an interesting fight which basically involves rotten cake and cleaning robots. The first move you'll notice he does is Toxic Slice. He'll throw out green tables with rotten cake on them and DPS should consume these to avoid them being up in later phases. The cake applies a dot which healers will just need to heal through. You should also only be consuming one Toxic Slice as you should have enough DPS to consume the rest of them and avoid the dots stacking too high. Secondly, Triliax will cause pools of arcane seepage to form at random players' locations, which are the purple pools you can see here. Ideally you'd have your raid more or less stacked up to manage the pools, but as this was our first attempt, things got a little out of hand. Another move Triliax will cast is called Arcing Bonds, which is like the linking ability on Alarith Renferal in Emerald Nightmare. Simply move to the player you're bonded with until the debuff ends. Annihilation is a beam that shoots around the room in front and behind the boss. Simply run ahead of the beam to avoid damage, or use damage reduction abilities such as Aspect of the Turtle if you're going to get hit. Succulent Feast is a second food related ability he'll cast, which spawns feast tables at various locations. If you eat one of these, you'll get a shield absorbing 3 million damage. At several points in the fight, Triliax will cast Tidy Up, which spawns little cleaning robots called Scrubbers. They'll move from pool to pool, cleaning the puddles off the floor, and after consuming 5 puddles will begin to cast Cleansing Destruction. If the move goes off, it will deal almost 700,000 damage to all raid members. So simply right click to jump on them and blow the scrubbers up while they're casting this to avoid further unnecessary damage. Finally, the last debuff the boss will cast is Sterilize. Simply move away from other players as you'll do pulsing AoE damage to raid members within 7 yards for 40 seconds. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit the like button or subscribe if you'd like to keep up with loads more achievement guides coming soon. Thanks for watching.